This is my 2006 Gulfstream Vista Cruiser Mini, built on the Mercedes-Benz diesel chassis with a 2.7 liter 5-cylinder engine. I get about 15 to 16 miles to the gallon. I have every possible upgrade on my RV, plus I added some aftermarket ones. Um, there's the rear view backup camera, which you can see, the awning. I have the in-motion direct TV satellite, which means uh, somebody can watch TV while you're driving. I also upgraded to the two 6-volt house batteries over the 12 volt. One cosmetic defect on the outside is I ran scraped up against the side of a roof. So there's a scrape right there which doesn't affect the performance of the awning. It goes across that light and then across that window. It doesn't affect the functionality of anything but it is a little scrape. And into the RV. This is the 4230 model so it has the rear bath has the jackknife sofa which pulls out to a bed, the large pretty curved cabinetry, there's the galley kitchen with really huge storage cabinets, the rear bathroom, AC, here's the side dinette which also folds down to a bed and I'm currently getting a new bracket installed that's why the table is not set up. All these cabinets are oversized. There's the television. One of the reasons I went with the Gulfstream Vista Cruiser Mini over the view is because of this huge overhead space. This is a very large bed. Um, it's extra long, longer than a regular bed, and has a lot of overhead space. One modification I made was that I removed the microwave that came with it and I installed my own so I put this little shelf in here. It's a three burner gas stove, propane. Very large refrigerator which I also liked a lot. Never ran out of space with this. Extra large pantry storage here which I just used for all sorts of things. This is just a really deep, huge closet. This RV also has external storage space more than the view, um, pass-through storage space, which I liked, as well as additional cargo carrying capacity. I think you almost have a thousand extra pounds compared to the view. Here's the bathroom. Now, the reason I went with this RV was because of the larger shower. I think it's three feet by two feet, but I also added the um, $100, $150 nozzle head there that does the low water but high pressure. Lots of closet storage. Underneath this um, is external access to additional storage, empty storage space. I like the shades on this RV because they're all like this room darkening shades that are right up against every window has the that there's a spot on this seat a little stain there and then you can't see it in the video very well but there is some yeah you can see it some cosmetic right there and I unfortunately stored a tire there, and I can't get that spot off. These are both the upgraded Captain's leather chairs, so they both actually swivel and turn around completely so you get two additional really comfy chairs um, up front. Here's the cab. Sorry, there's my baby. That's why we're selling my little RV. That's pretty much it.